Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, the Lord promises supernatural health and healing to those who listen to His voice, to those who heed His commands. Listen to the scripture. It says, if you diligently heed or listen to or obey the voice of the Lord your God, if you do what is right in His sight, if you give ear to His commandments, if you keep all His statutes, He says, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. You know, in the original Hebrew, God calls Himself. One of the names that He, one of the ways that He describes Himself is as Jehovah Rapha. Here this means that He wants to introduce Himself to you as the Lord, your healer. That's what that word means. But just as earthly doctors can't bring you any benefits unless you follow their advice, take their prescriptions, the same is true of receiving a healing from God. Although God wants to heal you, that ordinarily doesn't happen unless you follow His instructions. I love the words of Psalms 107 verse 20 where we're told that He sent His Word. He sent His Word and He healed them and delivered them from their destructions. It's not only His written Word, but He also sends His spoken Word. You know, throughout my many years of walking with the Lord, I've discovered that Jesus wants to heal me. And when He does, He sends me His Word. Sometimes there's a scripture promise that I stand upon, that I claim. Other times He directs me through His Spirit. He gives me the specific instruction that I need for my healing. Solomon wrote in Proverbs 4, verse 20, My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they will bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. There's several important truths in this passage. First, it's not enough just to hear God's words. We need to pay attention to them. We need to obey them. We need to listen carefully and let His words penetrate deep into our hearts. The next principle is that God wants to bring healing to your whole body. This means you don't have to tolerate a life of sickness or poor health. God wants to give you instructions for a turnaround in your health, and it's time to be sick and tired about being sick and tired. It's also time to quit listening to those who say God's power to heal is not available or no longer available for us today. The Bible says just the opposite. The Bible assures you that all the Lord's promises are still in full effect. Paul wrote to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 1.20 and he said, All the promises of God in Him are yes and in Him amen to the glory of God. And Hebrews 13.8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never was. He never will be. He always is. He is the God of the now for you in your life today. My friend, God's word is true. He's speaking His promises to you today. Trust Him. Obey Him. Receive the healing or other breakthrough that you need. I'm praying for you today. And until next week, when we resume this study on God's healing power, remember, God is there for you. Reach out to Him. And we're praying for you today. God bless you.